Um, it's really my honor to be with you all tonight. I'm Priscilla Berger. I'm the chair of the education department here at Regis and uh, program director for our graduate programs as well. Um, and I'm so thrilled to have the pleasure of awarding the second Regina Keynes Class of 54 Distinguished Educator Award. Before I introduce you to the alumna for who this award is named and reveal this year's recipient, I'm thrilled to tell you a bit about this award and the criteria. Named in honor of our beloved Regina Sales Keynes, Class of 1954, this annual award is given to a Regis alumnus in the field of education who embodies the following, instills in students a desire to learn and achieve, understands the individual needs of students, encourages their talents and fosters their self-esteem, demonstrates a thorough knowledge of subject matter and the ability to share it effectively with students, fosters cooperative relationships with their colleagues and the community, demonstrates outstanding leadership, committed to developing active citizens who will make societal change. As Molly mentioned, this year's recipient has no idea that they're getting this award. In fact, they don't even know that they're attending this event. And this person is an incredible leader and truly exemplifies the traits of the Distinguished Educator Award. I'm thrilled to now ask Regina Keynes herself to reveal the 2021 recipient. Regina, over to you. I'm sorry, I'm gonna mess things up. Can we just hold for one moment because I think our recipient is about to join. Grace, welcome. Uh, you are actually at a Regis Educator um, event and I'm excited to introduce you to Regina Keynes um, and she has something to tell you. Well, hello, Grace. I'm delighted to see you and to meet you again. I think we've met once before, but, yes. in, any, but in any event, this is a very special time when I have the distinct honor, and it really is for me a very distinct honor, and that I'm very excited to, to award this year's Regina Kane's Distinguished Educator Award to Grace Milner Howard Dole, the class of zero, zero. Welcome, Grace. <laughs> And I want to say a little bit. I want to say a little bit about you, so that everyone knows who you are, and that I can feel specifically and particularly honored to know that someone like you is the first recipient of this award. Grace is the principal and founder of the Springfield Honors Academy in Western Massachusetts, an inner city public on public honors academy that challenges the status quo. Grace founded the school and first opened its door, doors in, fall, in the fall of 2017. Before taking on the role of founding principal, Grace was teaching and working on similar design projects in other school districts. When Springfield leaders and educators approached Grace about their idea to create an honors academy in the city, she was eager to bring it to fruition. According to their vision, the school would cater to high performing, low opportunity students. The result was Springfield Honors Academy, a public school program that selects students based on GPA essays and interview, MCAS scores and letters of recommendation in Grace's opinion, I'm sorry, in Grace's opinion, a new school was absolutely necessary in providing students with a new sense of potential for students listed as underperforming in the eyes of the state. Grace advocates that students need to believe they have the power to become more than just an inner city statistic. And she created Springfield Honors Academy for those well-deserving students. Students, teachers, and support staff shared with us that principal 
HD, as, the, as they call her, is a dedicated champion of making sure all voices are heard in SHA's community. Teacher autonomy, student feedback, family engagement, and doing what is right for the students is at the heart of everything she does. Grace is a devoted mom of two amazing children and has incredible support from her husband and large extended family. It's incredibly fitting that the school's motto is Vestri Optimus Pro Mundo, be your best for the world. Grace has certainly done just that. The SHA community could not have thrived through this past year without her constant guidance and support. Thank you, Grace, for being your best for the world each and every day by, by providing leadership, wisdom, and courageous, I'm sorry, courageous, uh, courageousness. Your alma mater is very proud of you and thrilled to bestow this award recipient to you. And it is, of course, my distinct honor to know that in my name, someone like you is the recipient. Congratulations. I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check out. We did, we did surprise you. Oh, <laughs> you. Oh. Your, your husband was quite the person involved in all of this to help us out. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're really surprised. I'm very, very, very surprised. Very surprised. I was giving him such a hard time. <laughs> um, uh, thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, Springfield Honors Academy is is like third child, uh, and to all the moms out there, you know what that means. Um, so, um, and I can see, um, Beltsy, Renoso, um, I can't see all of you, but I can see Beltsy, and I can't believe um, such an amazing mom is here with us. Thank you. Um, I know Miss Cooper has to go. I just can't even believe she, she was here. I don't know who else is here, but I can also see President Hayes. So now I'm really losing my mind. <laughs> uh, oh, and Isaac, and Jermaine, oh, <laughs> no way. Oh, okay. So um, I'll pedal back to say, hi, Isaiah. Oh, God. Um, education is all I ever wanted to do since I was in second grade. Um, and Regis really made that possible for me and is just, um, I loved my time there and it made me um, who I am today, I believe that. And, um, and then Springfield Honors Academy just allowed me, to, allowed me an opportunity to bring everything Regis ever taught me about mission and vision and um being dedicated to go uh, the good of others um we just pride and i just i can't i really can't believe this <laughs> so thank you and um and regina you ah, mobile i can't believe she's I can't believe you're here. Um, Regina, uh, when I met you at this last, um, the Regis event that we had earlier this year, I was so impressed by you. I couldn't believe I was in the same company as you. Uh, so to have you read that to me and, and give me this honor is just um, more than I, I have, I, I am speechless. I'm very, very, very surprised. Very surprised. I want you to know I'm as pleased as you are. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dramatic, I was like, how can I be in this woman's company on this call? 
I thank you so much, Regina. Thank you. And I don't know the depths of who's out there, but now I'm seeing in the chat Miss Senna and Miss Hernandez and Miss Gabriel, my my parent guardian counsel. Oh, I just whoever is out there and my twin I'm seeing is out there. Um, wow. Oh, my teachers. I'm just so touched by this. I can't tell you. Wow. Both of your children. Oh, Sarah's there. there. And my my I'm hearing my children are there, mm -hmm. which means everything. And my in-laws, my folks. Wow. This is huge. I really, really mean so much. This year's been very challenging, which I think is a big part of my emotions. <laughs> been a tough year to be in the business and um the the parents and my teachers and my staff have been exceptional my husband has been a giant sense of support for us as well I don't really know um surviving this year it's really it's been like that a survival and just very touched by this uh, and so, so appreciative. It's just, we are so grateful that you let us, um, you know, surprise you like this. You're a very good sport. You have an amazing support team. It was so much fun to put this together. Um, I think that your husband just went to actually get the award that, uh, so you can <laughs> that um, so we're we're just so proud of you and um thank you for for all that that you've done and the Christy, Senate. <laughs> he is my assistant gotcha. teacher. <laughs> what, are, what it's not even amy's birthday why do i have to bring this box <laughs> If anyone can pull off a surprise, it's Christy. She's amazing. She's our director of student life at our school, and she's absolutely amazing. I I know my mom is out there, and um and my wow. I'd like to present you with some <laughs> Wow, very nice. Wow. And there's one for school, one for home. Wow. Congratulations. It just, it means so much to me. It really does. And just wanted to say to my mom um, and to my mom-in-law, both educators as well, that, that they're on here means everything to me because, um, I mean, everybody plays a huge role. Checo, oh, I'm so thankful for you. Um, but they've I had little ones when I started this endeavor and they, they really stuck by me. So just really appreciative to them. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> Ryan, I uh, love this chat. I, I need to <laughs> roll over and we'll, we'll give you, we'll give you a minute, Grace. I should have put on uh, in your husband's instructions, have a glass of champagne or something <laughs> ready since it's quite the surprise. <laughs> um, yeah. but, I am so excited to uh, now introduce our president, um, President Paige. So over to you. Oh, you're muted. If I can wipe the tears from my eyes, I'll be able to say a few words. <laughs> but um, Grace, you truly live the mission of Regis and the Sisters of St. Joseph. And you truly, truly are making a difference in this world. And that's what it's all about. I wish we could be together and yeah. I can't wait to meet you in person again and see you in person again. This annual event has become a lovely tradition over the past several years and it's heartwarming to see education alumni and students come together, especially after this very difficult year. I get it, you know, we've lived it through too teaching Zoom via Zoom hybrid. It's, we're all Zoomed out, right? But let me tell you, my dear, you are amazing. Thank you for staying connected with all of us and with each other, whether it's higher ed or elementary ed or preschool or any other level. 
The past 15 months have been unprecedented and teachers and administrators have been on the front lines experiencing it firsthand. I'm sure that you can all relate, especially Grace, when I say we don't always know the right answer, but we are all doing our absolute best. And I salute you for your great work every day, but especially in times like these. Thank you for all that you do. As we continue to navigate this situation, I want to thank you for your support our alumni community for coming together, your family and your community from your school for supporting this wonderful evening and Regina for establishing this award. We've got to continue to stay connected for the well being of all of us as part of the Regis family. And I'm so happy and I'm honored to have been invited to participate in celebrating another distinguished member of our Regis community. This recognition is truly, truly well-deserved, Grace. You are an incredible woman, educator, mother, wife, community member, and Regis family. And all the con contributions you've made in your career, truly, truly, is an example of living out the mission of the Sisters of St. Joseph, but we say it's our mission now. It's the Regis mission and it's our mission. And you truly have embraced it as your mission to make a difference in the world, particularly for students who might not have opportunity. I'm overwhelmed myself. I'm overwhelmed by you. I'm overwhelmed by the support that you have around you. What an incredible person you are. And I wish that you could be my next best friend. <laughs> oh, wow. So congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. And now I want to turn it back over to Priscilla, who will provide the rest of the group um, an update on what's happening at education at Regis. Thank you, President Hayes. Oh, Grace. <laughs> My heart is full and to see this huge crowd come out to help us celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you for all you do and for who you are. Um, I wanna thank everyone for attending tonight. And we're always so excited to have our Regis family with us. So I do wanna share some updates I, of course, being education, we could go on and on, but I have a few highlights about all of our programs. And we'll start with the undergrad program. And as we know, this is probably the most challenging year that um, many of us have seen in our lifetimes. And I will say that nine of our undergrad students and 10 of our master's students successfully completed their student teaching during COVID. And all of the struggles and pressures and changes and out of the, un, the unusual circumstances. Um, they all did fabulous jobs. They went in there and they did what they were supposed to do for those students. They represented Regis and the Department of Education. And we are immensely proud of the work that they did um, this academic year. Also, um, we are committed to um, social justice and uh, cultural responsive teaching. And with that, we have added a new course that we uh, taught for the first time this year in both the uh, undergrad and the master's special education program. Um, we've also uh, been working on infusing culturally diverse children's literature and young adult novels in courses throughout the undergrad program. Um, we are going to be welcoming our third group of Regis Diverse Educators this fall, which is very exciting as well. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Regis Diverse Educators uh, is a group who are awarded a full tuition scholarship for their four years 
in, an un in the undergraduate SCOM program at Regis, excuse me. Um, and the individuals selected are those who have demonstrated through their written essays and interviews with a committee uh, that they are committed to the field of education and to serving underrepresented populations when they get their own classrooms. We also continue to be blessed with the endowment from the Pearl Nelson Center, where we um, continuously are working to provide updated materials for our students to take into the classrooms with them. Uh, for the master's program, I see some exciting faces. We just finished our first year of our newest program, our master's in student success, and the first group of those students are taking their last class right now, so they were able to participate in this year's commencement. And of course, our doctorate program. Even with COVID, we were able to bring in two cohorts this past fall. Um, it's the largest group that we have brought in since uh, the program has been in existence, uh, which is uh, quite, we're going to be on our ninth cohort this year. Meaning, uh, you know, it's, it's very meaningful to us. And on a side note, we also saw a lot of challenges with our students in the program. You know, they, they had personal challenges and work challenges. COVID uh, hit many hard personally um, with family members. And of course there was burnout and pressure to a, at a level that we had not seen before. Uh, so our, we have some amazing faculty um, several who I see on the screen here, Dr. Conway Campbell and Dr. Lauren Bent. Um, if there's others of you, I, I can't see you, but thank you for all you do for our students and the EDD program. And finally, in alignment with the commitment that Regis has made to diversify the faculty, the education department has been very blessed um, over the last year and a half, two years, to have four wonderful and talented diverse faculty who bring an abundance of experience and knowledge to the prospective programs that they're teaching in and to our students. Um, we continue to move forward each day, uh, living the mission of Regis and making sure that we are doing the best for our students so that we can send them out into society, um, not only as Regis alum, but also as change makers who change the world for good. Beautiful. Thank you, Molly. Beautiful. Thank you so, so much, Dr. B. It's, it's such a pleasure to have the opportunity to work with you and Dr. Putnam throughout the year. Um, we, as, we didn't really mention this at the beginning, but we have really um, been working hard to establish our education affinity group um, so that we can connect our education alums and our education students. Um, and I think this is the third event that we've had this year. Uh, this is the third or fourth annual education connection reception that's held during um, reun reunion weekend. So it's just a wonderful partnership and I can't thank you enough. So at this time, I would love to open up the room for conversation and celebrating. And um, if anyone has any questions for, for anyone on the call or on the Zoom, um, but please it, it, remember, like I said, it's Friday night, six o'clock, beautiful out. Um, <laughs> please just, just feel free to unmute yourself and, um, and you know, ask a question and say, make a comment. Um, I think we can all just once again, congratulate Grace on this amazing honor. Thank you for letting us do this. Uh, I don't. I didn't really know that a Zoom could be so emotional. I would have had tissues ready. I wasn't really ready for that. I would have gone a little easy on the eye makeup. Um, but you're such a wonderful sport for letting for allowing us to do this, and um, we can't wait to meet you in person. To see you in person. Uh, I can't wait to meet you either. I. I. Um... Yeah, I definitely was not expecting, <laughs> expecting this <laughs> at all. Um, wow, a uh, surprise of a lifetime there. Um, I do want to say before any of my students have to, to sign off that I and my teachers, um, I, bet I just absolutely adore you. And I can't believe that you came on tonight and 
I'm, I'm, I can't, two of them are going to graduate in a, in a few weeks that I know are absolutely out there. Isaiah and Checo, they're going to graduate after a really tough year. And I heard you say, um, you know, you don't think of everything when you're in a pandemic space like this. And I, when you mentioned, um, the practicum, Priscilla, the teachers doing their practicum virtually, I'm like, oh, wow, I can't even imagine because yeah. those, that time period for me was like, wow, intense, intense. Yeah. And um, do, under Dr. McConney Hor uh, Orzek and <laughs> Sister Carmela and Sister Judith. And um, I just cannot even, um, Wow, I believe that. And I just also want, last thing I would like to say is just my sister Sarah is on, was on the call or is on the call and she's a Regis alum too. She was right ahead of me. And uh, I just want to shout her out because she's also Regis College and making Regis proud every day. Um, thank you. So thank you again so much. Well, please feel free to stay on if you'd like. Um, this this is the kind of kickoff of our evening this after, this evening. We um, we are celebrating our reunion, so we have a, a cocktail hour up next, followed by some class happy hours. <laughs> so the more the merrier. Let me know if you want to come. <laughs> um, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Berger, thank you, Dr. Putnam, thank you, President Hayes, and um, thank you, Stacy, and and the rest of our team, and of course, Grace. Thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Well, congratulations again, yeah. Grace. And I'm so pleased to have your name associated with this award. So good luck. Going. I am too. Thank you, Regina. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Yeah.